It's been a record-setting wildfire season for the west coast of the U.S. And all those fires recently made it appear as if we are now the inhabitants of Mars. Rapid, uncontained fires cause the sky to have an out-of-this-world orange and red hue all over. These eerie, apocalyptic views are due to smoke and ash from fires being pulled into the air. You could see it from space on satellite imagery. That's how much of it was in the air. The image on your left shows clear skies, not a cloud in sight, which is what one would see on a normal sunny day. Meanwhile, the image on your right shows a different view. There's a lot of brown blanketing the region, which is the smoke and ash from the wildfires thousands of feet up. The smoke and ash are the main ingredients for creating this aura of something only seen in sci-fi, acting very much like Mother Nature's own Instagram or Snapchat filter. The reason for this is the same reason as to why the sky is blue or why you see colorful sunrises or sunsets. Remember the acronym Roy G. Biv? Sure you do. Each letter stands for a different wavelength on the visible spectrum, which correlates with a different color seen with the naked eye. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. When the sun's rays move through the sky, it hits these particles of smoke and ash lofted in the air. The particles then force the smaller wavelengths, blues and greens, to be scattered all about, making us unable to see the colors on that side of the spectrum. Instead, the longer wavelengths of red to yellow are able to pass through these particles and reach the surface of the Earth, giving way to this haunting effect for us to see. Unfortunately, we could see more events similar to this. There's a lot of wildfire season left to go, and all signs point to no significant improvement in fire conditions in the months to come.